Hey, we're live on Facebook. It's Joanne Musa, the Tax Lean Lady. And today, this is your Tax Lean Investing Tip for today. And today, we're going to talk about the results of recent tax sales in New Jersey. Um, last week, for the fund that I'm a manager of, I'm the acquisition manager, we went to six online tax sales and two live tax sales, which I personally attended. And we were able to have some success in some, not all of these tax sales. So I wanted to talk to you today about uh, what made the difference. And um, if you're investing in tax sales in New Jersey, and this might work in other states as well, how to target the right sales and the right properties to bid on so that you have some success. So I will tell you that um, I went to a tax sale on two different days. And those days, we also were bidding in two online sales each of those days. And then another day uh, where I didn't have a live tax sale, we bid on two tax sales. Um, we were successful in three of the online tax sales. And when I say successful in a couple of them, in one, we only bought one lien. We were able to buy one. And in another, we were able to buy one lien um, or two. In another, we were able to buy two. And in another, we were able to buy six. Those were the online sales. All right. Um, and so one of the things, the, the one that we were able to buy six in um, was on a day where there were, I don't know, like 17 or 20 tax sales all on the same day. So that's the first thing I do. I like to target sales that are on days where there are a lot of tax sales. And in New Jersey, New Jersey, everything is done on the municipal level. There are 550 municipalities in New Jersey. They all have a tax sale once a year. The tax collector gets to decide when to have them. And they could be any time of the year. But on any given day in New Jersey, there could be a few tax sales all at the same time in different places, right? So um and a lot of them are online so i recommend that now today we were in another online tax sale in new jersey and we didn't get anything in there but there wasn't as many tax sales today as there as there were, were last week i don't think on the days that we participated in tax sales um so how do you choose the right tax sale to go to? Well, I will tell you the one where we will, and, and the right properties to bid on. I will tell you that the one that we got six liens in was a smaller tax sale in a rural area with not much available and a lot of land, a lot of, you know, small building lots. Um, and, and so that's what, you know, residential vacant land. So that's what we got um, in in that sale. And good morning, good morning, Kenny. Good morning, Cliff. Good morning, Medi. It's good to see you here. If this is helpful for you, go ahead and share this on your Facebook page. Okay, share this with your friends if you think this is helpful. Okay. Um, and I was just talking about how we had some success at some tax sales. Now, part of the battle is just showing up, right? So in these online sales, the ones that we were successful at, and, and pretty much we went to two sales in one day, right? And we were successful at one and not the other. So it's not always easy to choose the right sales to go to. So we like to choose if there's a lot of sales in one day, we'll choose a couple of them, right? So that we have the benefit of maybe at least one of those, we'll be able to get something. Um, I personally also like places it, out of the way places, not big cities. Um, and I like the ones that have, um, well, I like both the ones that don't have a lot of available, but they're in out of the way places where not everybody knows about, not everybody wants to uh, live there. Maybe, you know, it might be up in the mountains. <laughs> it might be out in the boonies, um, but not the big cities where everybody works and wants to live uh, or by the shore where everybody wants to be. Um, 
And, and some of these areas don't have a lot, but for the ones that do, so either it, it, there's like two ends of the spectrum, either they only have a few tax sales in uh, tax liens in the auction, or they have over a hundred, because if you get in the middle, it gets really competitive. Um, okay. And good morning, Mark. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's one thing that I do. Now, in the live sales that I went to, I went to two live sales, remember, on the same day that we were participating in these online sales, okay? Um, two different days. And I was successful in both of them. When I say I was successful, now, there weren't many liens in, there were only seven or eight liens in one sale and only four in another. And I did have success at both of those sales. I got one in the one that had more liens because those liens were resident. There were all kinds of liens, but residential liens. The one that I got was, um, it was a residential lien on a garage, <laughs> not the house. The house next door was on a different lot, right? And that went for premium, but I was able to get the lien on the garage for 17%. Those are the type of liens you want to look for, something that everybody else doesn't want because the house, everybody wanted it. It went at a huge premium, but the garage, I got at 17%, all right? Um, the other sale, were uh, there were only four liens and they were all commercial liens. So there's two different strategies, whether you have a lot of money to invest because they were bigger liens. So if you have a lot of money to invest, go after the commercial stuff, especially in sales where there's not a lot of residential stuff and there's not a lot and it's out in the boonies right because <laughs> this was again i and here's the thing people ask me what's your favorite place to invest well my favorite place might not be yours why because my favorite places are within an hour of where i live okay <laughs> i just don't want to drive too far all right those are my favorite places and then inside of that area, I pick the sales that I can be successful at. Now, how do I know that? By trial and error. Like I said, um, I say this all the time. Part of the battle is just showing up. All right. So you have to go to a few sales before you find this out. Now, I've been doing this for a few years. So I know which sales are more likely to be successful at and they are in the out of the way places they don't and they don't have a lot available so some of these sales that other people want to miss because there's not a lot there um those are the ones that i go to especially if it's on a day where there's another sale there was another sale within an hour from my house the same day that sale that only had four properties and they had a lot more residential stuff but they're also a more affluent area and very competitive so I picked the one that's usually less competitive, has less in it. And there was a chance where I wouldn't have gotten anything. If one of the institutional buyers show, showed up at that sale, I might not have gotten anything. But there were only like two or three people at the sale and none of, none of the institutional buyers showed up because they were all involved in these other sales. Okay. And there were so many, there were like 20 sales that day. Yes, some were online, but some were live. All right. So um, that that is the that is my uh, tip for you today. Part of the battle is showing up. Pick the right sales to go to. It's really good to pick sales where there's a lot of sales on the same day. Um, if you're going to live sales and you don't have a lot of money to invest, you want to pick sales again in out of the way places that uh, that don't have a lot, but have a lot of small liens on um, on uh, you know things that aren't aren't houses. Uh, they it might be vacant land. It might be um, you know I got a lien on a garage that was next to a house, but it could have been vacant land. Uh, something like that. If you have more money to invest and you're going to live sales, see, look at the commercial properties that are available um, or, or big lots of land that are buildable. Okay. Um, and the other thing for the online sales, you want to target online sales 
in out of the way places that either don't have much available or have a lot available, but are at the same day as other where there's a lot of sales on the same day. Um, and again, even when there's a lot of sales on the same day, I like to target the out of the way places and the ones that don't have a lot of properties in the sale, because what do the big guys want? What do the institutional buyers want? They want to go to tax sales where they can invest a lot of money at one time. So they are going to go to the sales that have more available, especially big liens. If they've got big liens, they're in. <laughs> okay. So you want to go after the online sales that have a lot of little liens available. Okay. And when I say little liens, I don't mean under $200. Uh, we rarely bid on anything under $200. So when I say little liens, I mean, you know, um, uh like around 500 a thousand dollars around that um that area like fit from 200 to 1500 dollars that's a that's a little lean to me all right anything over 1500 dollars 1500 to like 5000 is a medium size lean and and when you get over 5000 um that's a larger lean you get over 10000 and those are like extra large you know extra the the investors see the money signs when they see those liens and they're there they're there fighting for those liens they're going to pay big premium okay and i will tell you sometimes it's worth it to pay premium all right so those were my results of the tax sales that i went to last week um in new jersey and and those those same strategies that i use for new jersey work in some other states not all states because there's some states that have all their sales on the same day anyway like mississippi all their sales are on the same day so um but some of those still work because you want to you if they're online you want to pick a couple of the online sales not just one and you want to um look for the type of properties everybody else doesn't want now how do you know the type of properties that everybody else doesn't want you get the results of previous tax sales that's what i do with my coaching clients a couple of the first things i do with my coaching clients is first we get a strategy for them to invest and we find the right place for them to invest and it depends remember i told you my favorite place to invest is an hour away <laughs> from my house well we try to find the places that are close to them or that they like to go to um and states that that they like you know if they if they do want to travel what did do they do they have states where they have relatives in um uh, states they like to visit or vacation in um so we find their favorite places and then uh target target what sales to go to once we do that the first thing i have them do is get results of past tax sales we have to figure out how much money they need and um what to bid on that's not as competitive as everything else all right all right just some tips for you this morning uh and it is monday morning i will be back here at 9 30 a.m eastern time on Wednesday and Thursday this week, I will, um, I, and on tomorrow, tomorrow at 2 p.m., I do Ask the Tax Lean Lady Live. So if you have questions for me, bring them tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yeah, and, um, oh yeah, and Medi asks, which site do I use to participate in tax sales? The online sales, it depends on the state. Uh, the uh, New Jersey is done by real auction. They're the only ones that do the New Jersey sales. Um, yeah, there are a couple of others uh, for other states like GovEase and Zeus, as Cliff mentioned, but all the New Jersey sales are done on real auction. Okay, and again, bring your questions tomorrow at 2 p.m. I can answer them here for you live. All right, so I will see you then. And have this is your quick uh tax lien tip i do these quick tips monday wednesday and thursday at 9 30 a.m so we'll see you have a great day